Oh, it's windy. Hi, YouTube. Oh, hello. Hello, here he is. It's Fontelroy. Look, I'm out with yeah. Fontelroy again. Yeah. So we're going to go off up to uh, we're going to go off up to a place called Higston Hill Stone Circle. What do I? Why do I want to come here? Well, because it's a nice walk. A nice walk. Yeah, it's a long way. Is yeah. Been here before? I've been here once. You haven't. I'm pretty sure I have. No, you haven't. I remember just going on a really long walk. With you. Yeah, to a stone circle. Yeah. Yeah, that was called Groom's Pound. Oh, where you, where you yeah. got robbed? Where the car got broken into. Oh. Yeah. No, this that's nowhere near there. This place we're going to now, it's uh, it's called Higston Hill, mm -hmm. but it's a long way, a very long way. Yes, very long way. Very long way. Right, so uh, what do you reckon we've walked now? About a quarter of a mile? Do you reckon we've walked that far? About a quarter of a mile? It yeah? Hasn't been that far. Pardon? It hasn't been that far. It hasn't been that far? Yeah. So not a quarter of a mile then? Well, yeah, probably. Well, you just said not that far? Yeah, a quarter of a mile isn't that far. Oh, I see, that's what you meant. No, it's not that far. It is when you're my age. And how did you walk 9,000? I didn't walk 9,000 miles. <laughs> I didn't walk 9,000 miles. I did 9,000... I can't remember that. 9,000 and some steps. Six kilometres. Which would mean... If I'm, if I'm right... Because you're good at maths, aren't you? Yeah. Stop wandering out of the shop then. I can't... I'm trying to do parkour, you know. Parkour? It's a tiny little rock. What's the point? Look at this. Go on then. Show us your parkour. Amazing. Did you see that? I saw it. The whole world's going to see it. The whole world's going to see that you are a parkour athlete. Yeah. Uh, so that means then that my steps must be about two thirds of a metre in length. How do you figure that out? Well, if I did 9,000 steps and I covered 6,000 metres, yeah. that means my steps are about two-thirds of a metre. Roughly, aren't they? I don't know. Oh, come on, you're good at maths. What do you mean you can't figure out? Well, what's two-thirds of 9,000? Uh, 6,000. But how do you know it's not the other way around? Because it's not. When I was at school, two thirds of 9,000 was 6,000. No, how do you not know it's 6,000 divided by 9,000? What are you talking about? It could be 6,000 divided by 9,000. No, it's not. I did 9,000 steps. Oh, blimey. I covered I six kilometres. That's 6,000 metres. Right? Oh. So that means my steps must be on average two-thirds of a metre long oh come on it's so simple right so you have decided yeah because this wasn't my idea it was your idea we're, we're getting in touch with the algorithm we're getting in touch with what the algorithm okay on YouTube right 
I don't know what that means, but... So we're being inspired by Mr. Beast. Mr. who? Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast? Yeah. I don't know who that is. Well, that's because you're a boomer. That's oh. because I'm a what? Boomer. A boomer. That's, that's be- I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know what a boomer is. I don't, right, so far, I don't know exactly, what the algorithm is. Exactly, that's why you don't know. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know who Mr. Beast is, and I don't know what a boomer is. It's getting really windy up here, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think we're going to make it to Higston Hill Stone Circle in this wind? I thought this was... You thought what? Thought you thought this, this was, was it? No, it's I thought miles, this was yet, a final mate. destination. No, this is not a final destination. Oh, you're not crying. You're just so upset. I am, so it's... I'm getting emotional. So, uh, so in order to get in touch with the algorithm, yeah. we're going to issue a challenge. Is that right? Yeah. So what is the challenge then? So, from here, fast person to get to the bottom of the mountain. Look at the camera and say it. Get some um, 20,000. Start again, but look at the camera this time. All right. So, the first person to get to the bottom of this mountain. Yeah. They have to start at the top, obviously. Yeah. Wins 20,000 pounds. Wins 20,000 pounds? Yeah. Who's supplying the 20,000 pounds? You. Me? I haven't got 20,000 pounds. Well, you'll just have to go into Well, I've got 20,000 pounds that I can give away anyway. Well, you'll, you'll just have to go into debt then, won't you? Go into debt. <laughs> And yeah, how, but you see, you don't do understand that? The, right. the YouTube algorithm because <laughs> you can profit. How can you profit from giving away twenty thousand pounds? Well, first of all, we've got to make it longer than ten minutes, and then make what longer than ten minutes? The video. Well, it will be longer than ten minutes. And then we got all my videos are longer than ten minutes. In fact, the last one that I released with you in it was twenty minutes. Yeah. So we're gonna um, we we need to put some ads on it. Uh, yeah. And then. It's going to get so many views, and we're going to get all the ad revenue. Yeah. And by the time we've the video's been out for long, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have more money than we gave away. So it's okay. profit, you see. Okay. But doesn't that depend on how many people watch it? Well, it's going to go viral, isn't it? Well, I never get more than like about 150 views. That's because of your content. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my content. No, there isn't anything wrong with it, but it's. This, that is more popular, isn't it? What, giving money away? Yes. Is it? Haven't right. you seen Mr Beast? He's got over 20 million subscribers. Never heard of him. Don't know who it is. No idea. All right. Now, the problem with this challenge, as I see it, is people have got to get to the bottom of this mountain Yeah. Um, in order to win the money. Yeah. Um, so that means they have to get up it first. Yeah. In order to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, but they're not racing to the top. No, they're just racing down to the bottom. Yeah. Oh, and how long have they got to get to the bottom? As long as they like. As long as they like? Yeah. Okay. There's a few holes, that flaws in your plan that I'm seeing. How? Oh. Well, first of all, this isn't a mountain. <laughs> Ow. It's not a mountain at all. How is it not a mountain? There are no mountains in Devon. It's steep, it's a Place slope. camera. Therefore, it's a mountain. Well, a, a hill can be steep and slopey. Yeah, but a hill is just not as tall as we're, it. We're actually on a tour, not a mountain. I'm not going spelt, on tour. No, it's spelled T O R, tour. It's kind of in between a hill and a mountain. Right. So. You see? It's not as big as a mountain. But it's a lot yeah, bigger than a hill. Yeah, but that's just not going to get the views, is it? If you put tour in the in the. Title. Yeah, there's another hole in your plan as well. Wow. Nobody actually knows where we are, so we haven't said. No, we, we're we're going to invite some friends. That's what Mr. Beast does. I haven't got any friends. Well, Neither of you. Well. <laughs> well, then we'll have to ask some of Mother's friends. <laughs> so we're going to ask some of your mum's friends. <laughs> yeah. To come up here. And then race back to the bottom. Yeah. And I've got to give them 20 grand. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, that's our challenge. Yeah. Good luck with it. So, um... Look and, the they, and they're look allowed to the, use any... Look at the camera, not away from it. They're allowed to use any resources that they like. So... I would, like what? For example, um, you know those, like, snow tube things that they have in um, <laughs> the ski stove? Snow tube. <laughs> You know the things they have is uh, this ski slope. Yeah. They're allowed to bring um like bags of snow as well. Bags of snow. <laughs> <laughs>
they chuck it down they can chuck it down the mountain and then <laughs> they needed a lot of bags of snow to cover all of this lot, aren't they? Well, they only need to do a, a thin section. A thin section? Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> the, the bottom is, I would say the bottom of where we are now is the car park. Would you agree? Hmm? The oh, bottom yeah. of where we are from here is the car park. No. Where's the bottom then? We're just down there. Yeah, the car park. Yeah. Yeah. Well, from the car park, it's all uphill <laughs> until you get up here. Well, that's and we're not anywhere near the top yet. The top is about a mile from the car park. Oh. So they've got to bring enough bags to cover a whole mile. Yeah. That'll be thousands and well, thousands of bags. Well, they don't have to do that. I'm, I'm just giving you an example. <laughs> <laughs> and they can go down there on a snow tube. Yeah. In the dry. Yeah. Over cow shit and horse shit. Yeah. And then they... <laughs> Look at the camera. And they'll probably die when they get to the bottom. Look at the camera. But we can still put the money on their grave. Yeah, okay. To dedicate it to them. All right. Well, that's our challenge anyway. So good luck with it, and this will get us lots of views. You say? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. We've uh, we've taken shelter behind this rather substantial rock here. Yeah. Because of the wind. Yeah. It's still really windy, isn't it? It's very, very, very windy. Oh. So we're kind of at the summit now of the mountain, aren't we? Pretty much. Just yeah. Like and um, we've just seen uh, uh, what was it? What was that guy's name we saw on that horse? Gandalf, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's Gandalf. Yeah. Yeah. We saw him. He said he was off to see the elves. He was off to see the elves. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it is really windy up here, uh, up on Mordor. He was riding the Crumplehorn Snorkack as well. <laughs> what? Crumplehorn Snorkack. A Crumplehorn Snorkack? What's one of them then? It's an, it's an animal. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I've never heard of one of them. What do they That's look like? It's because they're uncultured. It's because um, of what? Uh, well, it's because of what? Uncultured. Uncultured? Yeah. You're not a wildlife <laughs> person. I've never, I've, never seen, I've never seen one or heard of one. What do they look like? Well, uh, small. <laughs> small. <laughs> that's that's a good description. <laughs> well, that rules out all the big animals then. They're about. <laughs> they're about the size of a fly. About the size of a fly. Yeah. So it's an insect then. No. Well, what is it then? It's a crumpled stalkag. <laughs> yeah, but what what species is it? The is crumple horn. Alright, what species group is it? The crumple horn. Yeah, but is it a mammal? Uh, oh. Is yeah. it, or, or is it an so insect? It's or, an amphibian. Or an ar arachnid? It's an amphibian. An amphibian? Yeah. Right. So, are we likely to see one down by the river then? Yeah. So, what's it doing up here? It's not. Where was it then? It was, it was by the river, wasn't it? It was riding across the water. I didn't see it. Yeah, that's because you just don't believe enough. What do you mean I don't believe enough? You just need the power of belief and you will see <laughs> the, the truth. What, you mean like an elf or a fairy? Yeah. Oh, I see. So what are we going to do though? Are we going to head for this stone circle then or are we going to give it a wide because it's really windy, isn't it? So we slide it up there? No, no, this way beyond here, we're only about halfway there. Oh, what? <laughs> this is the top of the mountain oh, okay. that you were talking about. That people have to climb up and then get back down to get the twenty thousand pounds. You know, that's pretty high actually. It is pretty high, isn't it? And they have to get down that way, by the way. They have to get down that way. Yeah. Oh, I see. So it needs to be. A so they don't have to make the way down to the car park then. Well, actually, they can decide whichever way they want. Okay. They can do it in strategic ways. Strategic ways. Yeah. They could just do a dive bomb. Yeah. Probably result in death, but it well, would still win. I think what we should do uh, is you need to face the camera. Oh, yeah. I think what we should do, seeing as we bought all this camera equipment with us, is actually find something to take a photograph of. Yeah. But are, are we going to carry on to the stone circle then? Um, yeah. Yeah, That's all right. Let's, let's do it then. Also let's go. For the challenge, I need to add a side note. What? If you really want to be a dickhead, just. just you really want to be a what? A dickhead, just commit suicide, <laughs> and then, and then nobody can win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, at least I won't have to give away the twenty grand, will I? Yeah. That I haven't jump got. Off, jump off a cliff and then. 
Nobody, yeah. nobody can play. Just to be clear about this, I'm not giving away 20 grand. Oh, come Absolutely, on. no, no. You just have to go into debt no, for a few days. No, it's not happening. Until you not get ever, the money. Not ever or ever or nothing or ever. Well then, that's the end of it. Right, let's carry on. Oh no, we've got a big spot of rain on the lens lock, you see it? Oh yeah. Oh, I need to get rid of that. That's better. Right, so we're here now, Hingston Hill, Stowed Circle. Um, how long do you reckon it's taken us to get here, about an hour? Yeah, probably. But we haven't walked very fast and we've been stopping quite a bit, haven't we? I mean, actually, I think it's probably been longer than that. Feels longer? Yeah. Don't say that. Why? Because people think we're just amateur hikers and we're not really very good at all. Oh, God, it's raining. Oh, God, it's got rain on it again, look. It's raining. You can, as you can see, it's raining. Yeah, so we're here now. Uh, well, fortunately, it's really overcast and the light's kind of rubbish. So I'm going to have to take some black and white pictures of it. Um, it's anyway, just clouds everywhere. Isn't it? There it is, look, behind me. You see it? There we go. See, there it is. Um, but we're not going to be able to stay here for long because it is raining. It's a proper circle a here, though, isn't it? It's a proper what? Circle. Yeah, of course it's a proper circle. That's why it's called a stone well, it circle. Wasn't, well, it wasn't like it the last one we went yeah, to. Yeah, but that wasn't a stone circle. That you was a village. It was. It's like an old stone age Neolithic village. Yeah. This is a stone age Neolithic stone circle. Oh, How do they actually put the stones there? With the hands. Look, look, look at, look at these stones, look. And they go on for about 100 metres up the hill, probably further. Right, we're getting a lot of rain now, so. Okay, so uh, my composition here is fairly straightforward, um, but I'm going to try and get on with this quite quickly because uh, I'm just leveling. I'm just leveling my camera up here on the uh, electronic level that's built into the camera. Um, yeah, I've got to be quick because it's raining, and uh, I don't want to be getting water all over the lens and everything. Luckily, the way that I need to be facing is actually, uh, um, we're not facing into the rain, so it's not too bad. So my composition is pretty straightforward. It's the stone circle and then the stones leading off into the distance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the largest stone. And this is gonna be a black and white shot because the light's not very good. So there's really no point in trying to uh, So 
So I'm going to go to F16 because I want real far into the distance in focus here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to set it to monochrome just so that I can see what it's going to look like on the back of the camera. And I can see that I'm probably going to have to do get quite um, creative with the contrast when I do the edit in order to get the separation of the rocks from the actual ground because it's kind of all looking a bit like the same shade of grey at the moment um, so I'm going to take that shot that's one stop under exposed uh, Take another one for good luck. And that's it. There's no detail in the sky. We've got a herd of cows coming towards us. A real big herd of cows as well. Herd of cows. And we've got a herd of people over there going the other way. No, so, <sighs> yeah, and it's, it's raining quite heavy now, the, so. The cows are coming towards you. Right, we're done taking pictures. <laughs> Right, uh, we're going to end the video there. Yeah. Conditions are getting pretty rough out here. Um, so you need to be looking at the camera. And um, talk this way so that you're talking into this mic. Look. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we're going to end the video there. Um, yeah. We've got a long walk back. It's raining pretty nasty now. The wind's picked up pretty bad. And there's cows. And there's cows that are that seem to be getting quite angry as well. I don't think they like us being here. So we're going to end it there. Thanks yeah. for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the bye. video. See you, bye.